In a recent interview, Dwight Sampson, Operations Manager at DNN Finishing in Grenada, shed light on the issue of a growing demand for skilled workers in the construction sector. Sampson acknowledged the sector's expansion but expressed a deep concern about the current salary structure in Grenada, which are contributing to a brain drain effect. Skilled workers, Sampson noted, are increasingly seeking opportunities elsewhere due to better compensation packages. You know, that has been a challenge in Grenada. Uh, you, you, most of the treatment that I've spoken to, those that came in to, to sit with me or to do an interview with me, a lot of them saying the very same thing. I can't work for $70 and $80 a day. And, and, and in the, the, the economy now, even though um, it's getting better in terms of what we experienced last year and the year before, $80 might be a challenge. The, the, the issue is the same across the board. Um, it, it, it's, it's paying workers, uh, the, the, the salary range and so on, um, we, boy, 80, 80 EC versus 80 US um, or, or 80, on 80 EC versus 110 and this is one of the things that DNN could proudly boast of. We ensure that all our staff are efficiently paid. We, we don't the best solution to this challenge, Samson emphasized, is to retain our skilled workforce through locally developed programs. This sentiment reflects a strategic approach to addressing the skills gap and retaining talent within Grenada's borders. Construction is on the upper. We now have the Grenada National Resort that we, we were just up there on Sunday and we were part of the, 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 uh, the tour and so on, the $2 billion project and there are other projects, you know, the government has been talking about the hospital, a hospital project that should, should soon come on screen. We had the, the ongoing construction at the, at the um, fort and so on. Um, the, the, the reality is uh, we, we, we need to develop a program where we can retain skills. Um, but that comes with working together in, in, in partnership across the, this, the sector. All companies you know, working together, putting ideas together, seeing how best we can um, uh, harness the skills of our local. Samson further revealed that DNN Finishing is taking proactive steps to tackle these industry challenges. The company is actively seeking to employ young men, regardless of experience, who are currently unemployed but show potential in the construction sector. This initiative not only addresses immediate employment needs, but also contributes to skill development and job retention. We had the site visit previously that we had invited um, persons who may be interested in the construction field um, to visit us. You know, we are looking for various, in various capacity, various trades. And so we had invited persons. And while the, the feedback was good, we're still looking. We do want skilled persons. We welcome all skilled construction workers, carpenters, masons, um, even join us. But what we also want to do is I want to give the young man who feels disadvantaged, who feels as, as if um, you know the system has failed you. We want to give an opportunity you know to come in. Let's see how we can fit you in. Let's see how you can find your niche. Let's see how you can find your place and then you can make a life for yourself. A better life for yourself and your family. This proactive stance by local businesses like DNN Finishing underscores the importance of industry collaboration and innovative strategies to meet the evolving demands of Grenada's construction sector. Rena Thomas, GBN News.